O oh God, by your Spirit, tell us what we need to hear and show us what we ought to do to obey Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 1 through 15, which can be found on page 693 in your pew Bible. The first in a series of oracles delivered by Jeremiah during a period of exile. Our scripture this morning is concerned with the practices of the temple and worship at this time. Jeremiah urges this community to remember the Mosaic Covenant so that God may dwell with them forever. Let us listen now to the word of God through Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah you that enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Amend your ways and your doings, and let me dwell with you in this place. Do not trust in these deceptive words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. For if you truly amend your ways and your doings, if you truly act justly, one with another, if you do not oppress the alien, the orphan, and the widow, or shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not go after other gods to your own hurt, then I will dwell with you in this place, in the land that I gave of old to your ancestors forever and ever. Here you are, trusting in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are safe, only to go on doing all these abominations? Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your sight? You know, I too am watching, says the Lord. Go now to my place that was in Shiloh, where I made my name dwell at first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now, because you have done all these things, says the Lord, and when I spoke to you persistently, you did not listen. And when I called you, you did not answer. Therefore, I will do to the house that is called by my name, in which you trust, and to the place that I gave to you and to your ancestors, just what I did to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, just as I cast out all your kinsfolk, all the offspring of Ephraim. God always blessings, blesses the reading and hearing of Scripture. <clears throat> 